Brooke and Lumir are known oh, shit. troublemakers. Fighting again, are you? What's it this oh, time? Rook is a filthy, thieving magpie. This bastard is a fucking liar. No, you can insult each other in your own time, not mine. What happened? As you know, Master Bailiff, I've got a daughter, and this fu- uh, Rook here has a son, and like you'd expect, the son is as much of a beast as his old man. He put a belly on my girl, and then turned his back on oh. her. A likely tale, you lying scoundrel. We're a decent, honest family, sir. But that daughter of his, nothing but a whore she is. She seduced my son. And what's more, this thieving bastard stole my cow, too. Damn. Enough swearing. One at a time, and settle down. What's this about stealing a cow? When that no-good son of his wouldn't do the right thing by my daughter, Rook here agreed in the end to give me a cow as compensation for her honor. And I did! Only then, that slut ran off with some minstrel! Where's the honor in that? And besides, it could be anyone's brat she's carrying. Ooh, shit. This is Mar- I'm Mari. Tell me more about your daughter. Pretty as a picture, and a good lass. Though a little flighty. Huh. She had her head turned by that cotscomb, and he put her in the family way. And then he wouldn't marry her. And who else would take her with a youngster? So we agreed on a cow in compensation. That much is true. Only, I'm sure you'll agree, Master Bailiff, where there's no honor to lose, there's nothing to compensate. A girl that runs off with some wandering jester. Wandering what jester. What could she do when she couldn't show her face in public? That's what you paid for. What about this son of yours? Hmm. Well, he ain't the brightest star in the sky, but he's a kind soul and a good worker. That slut of a daughter of Lumia's got it all worked <laughs> up, got herself Damn. pregnant, and then broke his heart. I talked to him out of marrying her myself, because I'd rather give this bastard my best cow than my son. I won't listen to this. That boy is a simpleton and a brute. And for sure, my daughter never went with him of her own free will. I wanted Man. no more to do with Lumir or his damn daughter, so I agreed to the compensation instead of marriage. And no sooner was the deal done than the slut ran off. And I want my cow back. You'll get nothing. A deal is a deal. It's your fault I've lost my one and only daughter. I've heard enough to know how things really stand. Damn. What do I... I'm bad at this. Lumir keeps the cow, or the girl ran off, so Rook should, should get his cow back. I don't know if that makes sense, though. They gave him the cow, and then she ran off because they wouldn't... Like, what does it matter if she ran off? A bargain is a bargain. Whatever unforeseen may happen. The cow belongs to Lumir. Thank you, sir. I never doubted your wisdom. You call that justice? I won't stay another minute in a village where the bailiff takes a hand in daylight robbery. I don't know. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Sir Divish, I finished the assignment you gave me. Pribis Labitz is up and running once more and making money. And the church is as good as new. Indeed? That's excellent news. Damn right. I can't wait to see it for myself. Of course. Fucking better. We can go right away. Goodbye. Yeah, it's not a rare achievement. Apparently, a lot of people have done it enough that it's not like glowing gold, Welcome but it did give me an achievement. Well, now, I've heard some reports, but to see it with my own two eyes, beautiful. Me and Marius did our best. As you saw on the way here, the village is prospering, trade is booming, and the villagers are doing well. Oh, yeah, I saw are. the new buildings as we were riding in. You've both done a magnificent job. I owe you my gratitude and commendation. Thank you, sir. How did you manage it so quickly? We had to theft. clear the woods and the ruins of the former Lots of buildings. theft. I arranged supplies of building materials and victuals from traders nearby. Thanks to which we were able to build what you see here today. And the church here has become the dominant feature of the whole village. Yeah, with I'm that fucking shitty wooden church. clock tower. Indeed, bell tower. you have plenty to be proud of. Thank you both. I can say wholeheartedly that you have not disappointed me. 
On the contrary, you have exceeded my expectations. It's been an honor. I can quite concur. Master Marius, I'd like you to stay on in the village. As soon as things have settled in the province, we can begin with the expansion as planned. As you wish, my lord. As for you, Henry, as I promised, you shall continue to have the income from the village, as well as the bailiff's office. Thank you, my lord. I thank you, Henry. Few could manage what the two of you have achieved here. Marcus on the road. Yeah, we'll fucking... Probably have to kill somebody here. I don't see him. But they're right there. Anything? Fucking none. It's literally nothing. Who is it? Yeah, who you got? Oh, it's this doing? bitch again. I didn't kill him. What are you doing here? I'm looking for humans and killing them. Ah. Well, all right then. I suppose that's fine. All right. I'm glad you... And what were you doing here, exactly? What do you mean by that? It'll be easier if you just confess. All right then. I did it. I didn't want to kill her, only to scare her. She lunged at me, wanted to take the knife from me. And this is how it ended. Oh. You don't really have to tell anyone, do you? And yeah, and you won't regret it. Yeah, I kind of do though. Good thing I don't care. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Hi. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you. Comrade. For your Welcome. Okay, I didn't know. Comrade. Who should I report to? Uh. Eric. He should be in the house. The Sounds clock. like communist propaganda to me, but okay. That was easy. Now I better take a look at. Here he is. What do you what want? Mans? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you. And quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Fucking right I can. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to okay. our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. Trying to whoop some ass, son. Who fucking wants some? Yeah, I gotta get their trust. These tents look pretty impressive. These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. Yeah, this is like a very well-funded... This is a very well-funded uh, operation going on here. Hi, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with the sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing its job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Yes, oh, you thought we saw no, uh. Skullis. 
Wait now. Yes, it's him. I do remember. We met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what Small you're Small world, for. man. That's cool. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. All right. Let's see what you're made of. Sucks that he's a bad guy. Or like he's on the other side. Yes. Jesus, you got me. <laughs> well, he's fucking the beat the shit out of him. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it. I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. New oh, tricks? very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. But honestly, like, speaking of it being a small world, I do a lot of shit. You think these people would have heard of me? Uh-oh, cutscene. Sir, may I... What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? Oh, shit. Who's this guy supposed I to be? I think I know what's troubling me, unmaster. He's surprised to see me here. Oh. And the feelings mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Fuck. Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. What do you think? What are you going to do? You going to... Ah, son of a bitch. The plot thickens. Now I'm going to get tortured. He's coming around. Fuck. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. What? Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. This is wild. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. <laughs> and I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, 
I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? Hm. Radzik will crush you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. I can't believe Radzik's his dad. With the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. I guess he has said some things. <sighs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sutton? He's talking Lambert, shit. He doesn't even care. Or Heenek, the dry devil. They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. Ah. And war is a nasty business. Give him a little Sir? fucking little QC ass smack right there. Now. I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Yeah, I fucking Farewell. hope so. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. Damn. Henry's kind of hard as fuck, dude. He did not buckle one bit. This could be like a long cutscene. Or am I gonna have to get the fuck out Henry, of here? Wake up. Can you hear me? Oh no, my boy. Jesus, that brute really works. You over. Here. Try to drink. Is it my my sword teacher? I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Oh shit, Zibish. Damn, full circle. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of here alive. I'm gonna do so some do you sneaky. Want my help or not? I need to fix my chair. I just got an achievement called Bastard. It says I'm find out who your real father you. is. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. A slave boy? A bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? Yeah, not, not a bad idea. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. How do you propose to do it? Finally, yeah. we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It I'm getting my shit back. I'm not leaving back. here without getting I'll my wait shit for back. for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father... I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. 
What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped Yeah, I don't really hold any ill will towards this guy. Too. He was a dickhead, but word. that's been so long What's ago that... All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over, and we'll have a soft landing. I landed and we're shit free. though. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, yeah, first, I'd jump in shit if it meant getting it. out of the situation. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you, and you're. Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you, so we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp. That's kind of crazy. Tree That's a pretty big twist, the though. And the brook. Good luck. Radzig's your daddy. Stats are just so high, though, now. Hey, right, where's the old... It's just kind of... Save your snot. Let's fucking go. It's gonna be so fucking useful that Nighthawk potion. Lock picks. I wonder if I can knock him out. I'm gonna try to. What's going on there? Nothing. You gonna come this way, though, buddy? making any noise. A deal? Get back to fucking here. No chance of him waking up. Got here bandages, a lock pick on him. Usually do annoying. Get that axe though, just in case. Loot's good. Not too concerned about it right now though. I don't want anything that's gonna like make me loud. Now I have a fucking, uh, now I have an axe. There was another chest over that way where I was beating the pummel on the shit out of this guy earlier. High stakes, high intensity. Dude. Let's fucking go, boys. The sword? I think I'd rather have the sword. Not that much better, but... Then I'll drink a Savior Schnapps, and I might be able to get... I'd like to be able to get my shit back, straight up. 
Got to get it back. Not really an option. my shit bro that's my shit oh, that's fucking expensive yep yep what's this do Improves your hearing and lightens your step. Ten minutes. Okay. Let's put this piercing arrows. A long sword. As far as armor goes and stuff. A ring on for good luck. Ten minutes, about five points. Just have to get it ready, just in case. Man, this is pretty hot. This is sweet. This is fucking cool. I'm glad I had been like put in a lot of stealth situations before. Now that I got all my stuff back, I need to make it over to there without drawing attention to myself. We're just going to go ahead and drink the pad foot potion. Increases my stealth. Improves my hearing. Drink that. For 10 minutes, I can see better in the dark. Oh, shit. That's goaded. Oh, man. It's like daylight. The only thing that kind of screws up is like whether I can, whether they can see me or not. Right, let's go back the other way. Just a uh, sneaky boy, just a regular old sneaky boy. I think I might be able to go that way though. Definitely not making it past that guy directly. These night dot potions, that's actually like, wow. There's a guy right there. I know I don't need to actually be quiet myself, but, uh, oh, did I get trapped myself in here? What am I supposed to do? Well, I... I made candles for a monastery. What? Did you hear that, lad? He made candles so the monks could shut them under ours. <laughs> Are they gonna move at all? Damn. 
bet you I can't jump over this either. But if I could get over to there, that one guy, as long as I can get the drop on him, he ain't nothing. I should start keeping a dagger on me. Stay still. Off a lot of noise. if you heard me. Sneak, 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 sneak. Yeah, not the most riveting gameplay, but, uh... Try to stay... Out of sight, there's a guy up ahead. Like I said, if I can catch him looking away from me... Can just knock his ass out. But we're really uh, pushing the fucking envelope by doing this. Stay still. He's gonna fucking come walking back. What time is it? I extra boost his stealth when I stand still. He shouldn't see me. Let's fucking go. I think there's another guy up ahead. Can't imagine there wouldn't be. I'm missing anything. Just escape from the encampment. Okay. Oh, there's two motherfuckers. Voice. Jesus, what a fucking stink. I can't stand any more of this. Hold your breath. You heard what Eric said. Fuck that little arse bandit. I don't want to catch cholera. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where are they fucking going? Buggered off somewhere, so he won't be checking on us. Anyway, if we move over, looking right the fuck at me. You'll be able to watch this pile of shit just as well. Even better because you won't be doubled over puking. We'll see fuck all in the dark. Who gives a fuck? Come on, let's go. Where are they fucking coming? That would climb a pile of shit to attack us. I'm the idiot. By the way, I'm the idiot who would climb a pile of shit to attack him. Keep going. Okay, escape from the encampment. Exhibit check out then. Lots of cliffs, it said. Man, boys, that was actually pretty intense. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with myself that I got out of there. Those potions, though. If I can find any more of those, I'm gonna start buying those. I'm not sure when I'd use them exactly, but that night eye potion? Where I'm doing combat at night? I think there's an ability. What was it? 
Potions will fill you up 20%. Oh, that's right, because they make they give you nourishment. That's important, I think. All right, well, we go back here and talk to Zibashek. And just in case we get fucking ran up on, it's a really nice fucking checkered hood. Right. That's it, boys. We're armored again. Ah. Hopefully I don't die on my way. I don't know why it was so ah. simple, that little stealth mission, but the fact that I was able to execute that like pretty much flawlessly except so, for that first try. We're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Deal's Don't worry, a deal. I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my my father. That's crazy. They that is your dad. They captured me. Wow. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Oh, I'm beat the fuck up. Wow, these cutscenes are gorgeous.